Today, we're going to discuss about mutagenic agents in chromosomal basis of inheritance. So, mutagenic agents, the agents which induces mutation in an organism is called mutagenic agents. So, you, um, you, are, um, you are watching, for example, you are watching a TV when your mother ca called you, that is an agent which disturbs your interest on watching the TV. So like that, the mutation is caused by some of the agents. They are called as mutagenic agents. There are two types of agents, physical mutagenic agents and chemical mutagenic agents. Physical mutagenic agents. Physically, the mutation is occurred in an organism due to temperature, and radiation. So these are the two mutagen, physical mutagenic agents, temperature and radiation. So which produces mutation in plants and animals. So the first we will see of the temperature. So temperature, increase in the temperature. The hydrogen bonds in DNA nucleotides will break. So, this will affect the replication and transcription process in the genetic material. Next, radiation. So, we very well know about the electromagnetic variation that may be due to shorter and longer wavelength. So, which can be visible only seen through the spectrum. So, ionizing and non-ionizing radiations are the two types. The ionizing radiation has shorter wavelength and the non-ionizing radiation have longer wavelength. So the examples of an ionizing radiation is X-rays, gamma rays, alpha rays, beta rays and cosmic rays. So what they will do means these rays affects the chromosomes and the chromatids and induces chromosomal mutation and non-ionizing radiation are UV rays. So they affect the unicellular microorganism, spore formation, pollen, pollen grains germination. These are the things was affected by non-ionizing radiation. So they affect the nuclei nuclei which is present near to the membrane plasma membrane so that type of the uh, things are affected and they causes mutation in the organism for example sarbati sonaro it is a mutant variety of wheat and it is developed from mexican variety sonaro 64 by that is by um, by radiating that is by radiating gamma rays on the wheat plant so you are getting this sarbati sonaro wheat and this work was done by m s swaminathan who is called as the father of indian green revolution okay so and his team that is swamin m s swaminathan and his team has worked out a, Sarbati Sonaro on the wheat 60 that is on the wheat variety by applying the rays of gamma rays they get Sonara 64. Castor Aruna. So this is a variety of castor. So it is the treatment of that is treating the seeds with the neutrons. Neutrons to, to get early maturity. So, to get yearly maturity. So, the original maturity of the seeds is 270 days. But, the maturity has to apply by applying the rays 120 days. So, one to, instead of 270 days, for 120 days yearly maturity is needed in castor arona. Okay. So, castor arona is a mutant variety of castor. Dermal neutrons are initiating on the castor seeds. What to do to get yearly maturity? How many days? 120 days instead of 270 days 
of the original variety will get 270 days to mature. But this castor arona, where that is 120 days maturity, they will produce the seeds. Chemical mutagens. So the chemicals are induced, initiated to see mutation in some of the organisms. They are called chemical mutagens. Mustard gas, nitrous acid, ethyl and methyl methane sulfonate that is EMS and MMS. Ethyl uro urethine, urethine, magnus salt, formaldehyde, eosin and anthrosin. So these are the examples which cause, the, these are the chemicals which causes mutation in an organism. So one of the example is the nitrous oxide so nitrous oxide what it do means the nitrogen bases are altered in the dna due to this altering replication and transcription that is is not occur properly and due to this there is an incomplete and defective polypeptide is seen in the translation that is in for protein synthesis the translation process is affected due to the nitrous oxide. Why means the nitrogen bases are not formed or they may be incomplete. Comutogens. Co so comutogens means the mutogens has not having any own properties of a causing mutagen that is mutation in an organism. So there are some substances which assist to, for the mutagenic agents to create mutation in an organism that is called co-mutagens that is in a class one student is doing the work assisted by another that is you are doing a project in a team work the, for the team member the team leader will be the, uh, doing the exact work but the other students are assisting him no him or her so the other students are called as co-partners. Co so like that here, one organism, that is one organism is induced by the mutagenic agents uh, to create a proper and vigored variety that is proper mutation in that is it assisted. The mutagenic agent has an assistant to assist the effective mutation in an organism that is called Co-mutagens. Example, ascorbic acid increases the damage caused by hydrogen peroxide. So, in ascorbic acid along with hydrogen peroxide, the damage is more. Caffeine increases the toxin of methoterzate. Methoterzate, okay. So, caffeine along with methoterzate, the caffeine is increased it causes toxicity. For example, when the that is jackfruit is eaten, after that you take a Coca-Cola, the reaction causes and it causes death like that. So, the uh, what is when you take a jackfruit, a jackfruit and uh, immediately you are taking the Coca-Cola, it creates a poison like that. Caffeine increases the toxicity of methotersate so and it creates mutation in organism with severe effect so some of the examples that is mustard gas dichloroethyl sulfide it is a chemical weapon used in world war one so how the coronavirus is considered as a biological weapon now the chemical weapon uh, that is mustard gas is a biological weapon that is mustard gas dichloroethyl sulfide which is used in the world war one as a chemical weapon hj muller in 1928 first used the x-rays to induce mutation in fruit fly in fruit uh, fruit fly he is the first one to induce uh, um, mutation in fruit fly in x-rays L.J. Sadler reported induced mutation in plants by using X-rays and gamma rays. Chemical mutagenesis. 
was first reported by C. Orbach in 1944. So thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. If you like the video, give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.